Hello everyone and welcome back to Aftermath TV. I would like to invite everyone to join me in my journey in Ragnarok Online by Gravity Game Hub. It is very easy to create an account. Just go to their official website ro.gnjoy.asia, click quick sign up, enter your preferred GNJoy account username, password, email address, then select your country and provide your phone number. Review their privacy policy and terms of service, enter the OTP code, hit verify, then submit. The next thing you want to do is download the game client, install it, run the game, log in, and for account security purposes, you need to nominate your PIN. From there, welcome to the world of Rune Midgard. You may also want to visit their social media channels, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, and Discord. For updates with regards to promotions and events like the ongoing Razer Gold Top Up event where you'll have the chance to acquire rare costumes, wear it in game, show it to your friends, and above all, have fun. My dear adventurers, I am looking forward to see you in Prontera. Without further ado, let's go. Now, as soon as you reach Jeffen, the location of this blacksmith is on the northeast part of Jeffen. As you can see, we are now entering the house where the blacksmith is located. Okay, at this point of time, this is going to be again tricky. Why? Because you would have to talk to the blacksmith several times before you can progress with the quest. Yes, you heard me right. Because he will kick you out of the room for several times. You need to talk to him over and over again until you can trigger the conversation that we need in order for you to progress with the quest. Again, so as soon as you meet the blacksmith, just tell him I'm here to repair the sword and then he will just basically tell you that he's busy and then he will kick you out. So you need to enter the inn again. Yes, you heard me right. This is the inn, the Jeff and inn. So enter the inn again, go back to him, talk to him and then expect that he will kick you out again. Okay, again, in my case, I got kicked out for like more than 10 times before I was able to trigger the conversation that I needed in order for me to progress with the quest. Now, as soon as you're able to trigger the next conversation, you will have the option of your granddaughter is pretty. And then the other option is, is there anything wrong? And then he will start to talk to you. And then he will tell you that her granddaughter is sick. And then the last option that you need to choose is that I will make her happy. I will take her with me. I am sorry. So that's the exact conversation. Anyway, you will see it during the conversation with the blacksmith. Now, as soon as you're able to trigger this specific conversation, then now you can progress. Again, Again, I will repeat for the second time. You may have to do this over and over again. You need to keep on talking to the blacksmith. And again, it's normal if he will kick you out. Again, I heard in the past where players got kicked out for more than 20 times. Yes, it's part of the quest. I don't know who created this quest, but man, it really needs a lot of patience. Anyway, so after your conversation with the blacksmith, we now need to go to Prontera. Now, on the 4 o'clock of of Prontera or on the southeast part of Prontera, you need to look for this specific NPC called Ye. Y E. Yes. As soon as you talk to him, he will then direct you to a female doctor in Yuno or Juno. So again, from Jeffen in, you go to Prontera at the southeast part of Prontera, and then now we will go to Juno. Yes. So there is a traveling involved in this quest. Now, as soon as you're able to reach Juno. You just have to again follow my Lord Knight. Talk to the active little girl called Hisa. She will then tell you that the famous doctor, the name is Silmel, has just returned from a trip. So it's the perfect time guys to meet the doctor because again the blacksmith needs help. Okay? In curing or treating her granddaughter. Now, again the same thing will happen at this point of time. Remember... <laughs> When the blacksmith kicked us out for several times, again, at this point of time, this doctor will do the same to us. And again, it needs a lot of patience. Now, this is the worst part. Because in my case, when I was doing this quest, I got kicked out for like more than 25 minutes. Yes, you heard me right, guys. So I was not able to count it, but for 25 minutes, I was trying to talk to her over and over again until I can trigger again a specific conversation so that I can progress with the quest. Okay, now we move forward. This is the tip that I can give you. Do this in order. So when you talk to her, she will tell you that she's not interested or probably she will kick you out. Okay, 
Now, what I want you to do is that as soon as she opens up a bit, you need to choose the option, do you like traveling? That's the first option. And then, if she opens up and she allowed you to talk to her again, just tell her that you are beautiful. That's the second option. Now, if you're lucky enough, then she will help you. But unfortunately, again, there's a chance that she will kick you out of the house. Okay, and you need to go back inside again and then talk to her again. Again, I don't know how many times you need to do it. But again, in my case, it took me more than 25 minutes. Imagine how many times I went in and out of the house just to proceed with the quest. So again, patience is the key here. Now, as soon as she agrees to help you, what you need to do from this point of time is that you need to return to Jeff and Ian. And this time, you need to talk to the granddaughter of the blacksmith. The granddaughter of the blacksmith is located on the second floor of the inn. You will see a stair just beside the blacksmith. And you just go inside that room. And then you will meet the granddaughter of the blacksmith. Now, again, talk to her. For the third time, <laughs> she will not easily speak to you. You need to talk to her over and over again. The same thing that you did with the blacksmith and, of course, the doctor. I don't know, but... Something is really wrong with this quest. Uh, it will really test your patience. But anyway, you need to talk to her over and over again until she tells you or she agrees to have a conversation with you. If she agrees to have a conversation with you, then you just have to ask her about her health. And then after that, you need to go back to the doctor in Juno. Now, answer her questions. Temperature repeatedly turns hot and cold. Not sweating at all. Paralyzed often, irregular heartbeat. Those are the correct answers. Now, if you get that right, she will then ask you to gather all the materials. Okay, so that's the reason why, again, initially, I have asked you to gather all the materials before you started this quest. Because again, eventually, you will reach this point where you need to gather all these materials and provide it to the doctor in order for you to progress with the quest. Now, after you're able to give all the items to her, then she will give you an aloe vera. Yes, as soon as you get the aloe vera, you need to return to Jeff and Ian and give the medicine to the granddaughter of the blacksmith. Then, after you're able to give the medicine, go back to the blacksmith and talk to him. And then, at this point of time, there's another set of materials that you need to gather. But, luckily, you're able to gather everything again. So, all you have to do is talk to him again. Provide him the materials that he needed and then he will provide you with a Sa Yun Moon sword which is a Hei Donggun. Okay, so this is a sword, a weapon that you can acquire from the blacksmith. And then at this point of time guys, you just have to go back to Kunlun, talk to the chief and then you will receive a random item either a slotted boots or a slotted shoes and then Congratulations everyone, you are able to finish the main quest in Kunlun. So again, I'm so happy because you are able to finish this quest. It's a bit long because it involves a lot of patience again because you just have to talk to the NPC over and over again. But anyway, uh, if you are really a fan of Ragnarok, if you are passionate about it, then at this point of time, it will definitely be a fulfilling point because you are able to to acquire a free boots slotted or shoe slotted. I know, I know. People will tell you that probably the cost of the materials are more expensive than the boots or the shoes. But anyway, guys, again, this quest is optional. If you're just interested to take it, then so be it. Okay? So with that, I hope that I am able to help you in order for you to progress even further in Ragnarok Online by Gravity Game Hub. So until the next video, don't forget to subscribe. Like the video, also share it to your friends who are also passionate about Ragnarok Online. Bye-bye!